This lesson is how to drape an asymmetric front twist and is part of our three-part series on draping twists. To drape a tunic with side ruching. Once you've mastered this twist, as part of our creative draping series, fashion industry veteran Barbara arata Gavir will teach you the beautiful and timeless art of fluting. You'll learn how to drape and then hand stitch your fluting directly onto an ampere bodice. This technique will be the inspiration for many of your future evening wear designs. Learn how to drape a boat neck tent dress with a cutaway armhole. We'll teach you how to create your boat neck and armhole style lines, and then how to drape your flares to add fullness to the tent dress. This lesson also includes how to draft a facing known in the industry as an Upon part one of finding your own in a tear sheet or fashion image, you completed this lesson, move to part three. You'll soon be able to achieve your own signature style. Learn how to draw a female contrapposto front. She'll teach you the concepts of, and then how to map the pose using a nine head figure proportion. You'll learn how to draw the muscles. And finally, how to ink learn the figure. how to render a camouflage print using a combination color and map the camouflage pattern on the pants. You'll also learn how to hold your tools to get the best results. The lesson concludes with a demonstration on shading to add depth and polish. How to render plaid, shine, crocodile. Create a unique tear motif. Let your imagination guide you as to where this technique could be applied. On pockets, sleeves, or even as a complete garment such as a In this lesson, You'll learn how to create a using a tambour frame. We'll show you how to transfer the motif to fabric and then how to use a tambour frame and hook to add seed beads, bugle beads, and sequins. Use this motif as an all over pattern or as trim on dresses, jackets, blouses. Learn how to set an invisible zipper using animations used today as one of the most popular. This lesson is the fly front zipper. This beginner lesson will teach you how to make a fly front sampler out of muslin a great way to master the fly front zipper before you move on to setting one into an actual garment. Add to your zipper library by trying the other zipper lesson samplers, the invisible zipper, the kissing zipper, popular zipper used often on of jackets, coats, sleeves, pockets, creative decorative touch. We'll demonstrate an easy technique using tiger tape so that your blanket stitch will turn out perfect Learn how to measure a real-life female body so that you'll be able to extract the necessary measurements used in draping and pattern making. You'll learn about the various names and terms used regarding female and chart and diagrams, listing the more than 100 points of measure, and use our downloadable that are referred to in the fashion industry on spec sheets. And in you'll learn how to draft a tight-fitting block, known as a moulage or mold, from actual body measurements. You will also learn how to add ease to convert the moulage to a sleeveless bodice sloper or for use with a sleeve. These slopers will become the foundation for many of your future designs. Before you begin this lesson, this lesson is your introduction to children's wear. Size ranges for the US, the UK, European, and Asian children's wear market. Using either our child pant sizing chart or actual body measurements, we'll teach you how to draft. We'll demonstrate how to extract the necessary measurements from a size 5 pant form and provide a child's basic pant sloper. In this lesson, you with a handy measurement form for you to record those measurements. You'll learn how to draft and fit the pants before you transfer the pant sloper to Oak Tech. In this lesson, we shall teach you how to measure the male body. You will learn about key points of measurement that are used in bespoke garments and when creating tech packs. We also provide a downloadable chart and diagram listing all points of measurement for reference. In this lesson, you will learn how to draft come the foundation for many of your men's designs to come. We also provide a downloadable chart. In this lesson, we shall learn how to translate an upper body classic men's button through shirt. It includes a placket, a pleated sleeve. In this lesson, we will as a block lesson. We will also a fly shield, bees and pockets, and slant pockets. How to knit a poncho scarf. You'll learn about yarn weights, corresponding needle sizes, 
getting the gauge you're looking for, to hold your needles. We'll teach you how to cast on and bind off, and everything in between. The end result is a unique looking poncho scarf that's easy and painless to create. Looping and swirling, that's why I love them. You can use a big the stitch. stitch is one of my favorites because it's very easy. It's called the half double crochet V stitch, which is a simple and clear. This lesson is your introduction on what goes into a pack, one that's been actually created at G3 Apparel Group, the largest leather manufacturer in the U.S. We'll walk you through this 23-page production package prepared by the Vice President of Technical Design Services for Cole Hahn and Andrew Mark, both divisions of G3. You'll learn the process of how a designer's initial sample request this lesson will teach you how to draw a t-shirt flat and utilize the template created in our female flat croquis lesson. Flat sketches are used when you want designs to have more deep understand proportion, while at the same time will result in a sketch. Expand your knowledge of flat sketching by viewing our pants flat lesson, our skirt flat lesson, and our jacket flat lesson. Outerwear, Innerwear. Add to your knowledge of how to spec by viewing our lessons will teach you how to measure various design details on a skirt, including the pocket zippers, a fly, be specking like a pro, and be able to move on to how to create a tech pack. In the first part of this lesson, we will draw the double-breasted coat and look at details on it, such as the buttons, buttonholes, and the lapel. We will also render a fur collar. Welcome to the University of Fashion's lessons on digital pattern making with Tuka Design, presented by Tuka Tech. In this lesson, you will learn how to make a flare skirt based off of a given set of specs. This lesson is Intro to Photoshop for Assessment. Introduce to Adobe will teach you additional tools such as the Clone Stamp tool, G and Design. Lots of people think color, but I'm here to tell you that there are actually color rules and color relationships. And these are the active system, which involves using pigments, and the additive system, which is color produced by sunlight. This lesson is 100 years of be taught by fashion historian. Broken into two parts, this lecture explores those innovative individuals who have significantly contributed to the covering the end of the 19th century to the late 20th, this first space age chic of the 1960s, including 100 years of... This lecture continues from part one, the emergence of style tribes and the so-called end of... Lesson is Intro to Fibers and Fabrics. Lesson, you'll learn about fibers, how they are made. We'll teach you about how textiles are developed, use, and about the different types of fabric weaves. In addition, you'll learn how to determine the thread count of tests so that you can determine the fiber content of a textile, whether it be wool, silk, linen, rayon, or synthetic. Learn about the history of licensing, dating back to the urn began with the licensing of children's book characters. We'll take you on a walk through time fragrance licensing in the early 19 multi billion dollar industry that it is today. Learn from a fashion industry expert. You'll learn the definition of fashion marketing, the purpose of fashion marketing, and how to develop a marketing concept. By learning about demographics and psychographics, you'll be able to build a customer profile, the key to creating your own fashion brand. You'll also learn what it means when marketers know the don't. law as it pertains to copyright of work can be protected by law. You'll learn statutory damages and cease options, such as the fair use doctrine. In this lesson, you'll learn about your brand and all. Our legal expert will explain the difference between defamation and libel, how to mitigate the risks when using. Let Dr. Valerie Steele, cultural studies at Yale, spark influences culture and Valerie's to curator, author, and fashion icon, 2000 garments and accessories from the 18th century to the present day, and provocative exhibitions. In fashion, a queer history of fashion, and exposed a history of lingerie, making it about originals, copies, and counterfeits. This lesson is the first in our 
and what it's like to dress celebrities, discusses the inspiration behind his latest collection, which received rave reviews, and talks about...